gonna be some ups and downs. Let's have a chat and put some makeup on. I'm this close to having a Menti B at any point, to be honest. First of all, I'm pre-menstruating, so you've got all the hormones running through my body. Second of all, it's my busiest time of year. Monday to Thursday, BBC and clients in the morning, Friday and Saturday, clients. Sunday politics show. I wouldn't recommend it, but self-employed life be like that. Let's use the NARS tinted moisturizer because I did put a little bit of fake tan. I've got like a line by here. I went shopping yesterday with my mum in the hopes to find some Christmas presents for my family. It was unsuccessful. Like it took us an hour to get into town. Bear in mind, I'm like 15 minutes away from town. Packed busy, like so busy. Such a good foodie day. Like we went to Cardiff food market and oh my god i made some food discoveries i've never made before there was this olive stand like a whole stand dedicated to olives there was like a particular flavor that me and my mum were staring at and we, we just couldn't work out what that flavor was it was persian style walnut and pomegranate and this woman on the counter gave us testers oh my god they tasted phenomenal we were just like yep we will get two large boxes please then i went up to the dumpling place yeah pa oh my do you know what i'm butchering there pierogi is that how you say it pierogi they're like polish dumplings we have a place upstairs in the market that do these polish dumplings and wow and then i also went to the welsh cake store downstairs and i got loads of different welsh cakes because i didn't know that you could get like those are different fillings of Welsh cake. So I got Biscoff, Nutella and white chocolate chip. You know, like the week before your period, you're literally ravenous. And then in the evening, I came home, did some like YouTube editing, chilled, had some food, had a Welsh cake, fell asleep. I need to eat something substantial so that it takes me through up until about six o'clock. And I know that that's not healthy. This is what I mean about breaking point. Like, I don't know how long I can do this for, but I know that in January, it's going to be really quiet because freelance life, if you know, you know. I do have a pub lunch booked with my brother and my sister-in-law tomorrow, which I think will be really lovely. I'm gonna put a little coat of mascara on today because, yeah, I think simple is key. Can anyone else do that? Like, do a simple makeup look because you're preempting taking off your makeup in the night. <laughs> down and I have one more to go just cleaning my brushes now and I thought I'd just quickly show you how I professionally clean my brushes in between clients okay, ignore this I've been already cleaning a few brushes already I have tissue like this and then I have this which is IPA this is in obviously decanted into a smaller container I spray that it's really high alcohol content it's like 99.9% .9 alcohol take a brush like this you can see used it and it's really pretty dirty i'm just gonna turn it around so i'm doing this with one hand which is the funniest thing give it a couple of sprays and then you want to just literally dab this wait until it's clean that is the brush like it's pretty much good to go probably not going to take my camera with me to my last appointment just because it's in a home. My mum just rang me, by the way, I don't know if you saw, that apparently there's a Bakel Tart ice cream. I freaking love Bakel Tarts. I don't know what it is about Mr. Kipling Bakel Tarts. Whilst I'm here, I'm literally just about to leave. I'm going to show you my key essentials in my kit. So recently, I bought this light. Oh my god. And let me just put it on for you i will link it down below it is one of the best selfie lights i've ever used in my life and i use this for all my photos when i'm going to people's houses or if i'm doing anything on set also you can attach your phone to the back which is 10 out of 10. all of my nudies nude sticks here obviously you guys know i'm obsessed with these they're like cream blushes and contours some of my green girl lashes here 
Then I've got, these are my essential foundations. I only have two foundations that I love. I'm quite a minimalist. So I love the NARS foundations, the Radiant Longwear. And then I also like the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush foundations. These ones here, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silks. They are super light coverage. And to be honest, I have them there just for an emergency, but I don't tend to reach for them at all. These two, obviously you guys know, I love my It Cosmetics CC Cream. These are really for personal use. Um, I wanna get more shades of this. Got some NARS Radiant Concealers here. Tarte Shape Tape's my favorite full coverage concealer. I've got a tinted moisturizer in here. I've got some Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is my only skin prep that I like to use on clients. Blossom Paper. Um, this is a body glow that I use. I know it sounds weird, but this on the chest. Oh my God, it gives like a wet look sheen. Micellar water here. It's like a big tub of it. I've got some cotton pads. This is a little setting spray. Palettes that I've made here. These are my nude sticks, eye colors in there. Lip palette. This is a like a contour bronze palette, a MAC Minimize Skin Finish blushes here, um, Shark Tilbury airbrush powders just for like finishing. Laura Mercier Translucent, cannot live without this one. And then the Huda for my oilier girls. These are all my disposables in there, so spoolies and cotton buds. These are all my glitters and I've also got a lip mask in here. Then I've got some, this is like miscellaneous in here. I've got some mascaras, three different mascaras, some lip gloss, extra lip products that I haven't put in my palette. This is all my lip, lip liners and my color pencils from Morphe. I do really like these. They, they just come in handy. Like this all over the eye, this bronzy color, stunning. Like... This is what I just used from one of my clients in the waterline. It gave it like a pop of colour. Cherry Glow from Dior. Can't live without this, but this should be in here. And then some eyebrow pencils are in here. Liquid liners. Palettes here. This is my most used here. This is the two Face Born This Way palettes. 10 out of 10. But yeah, that's my kit. And then my brushes. And then on the other side, I have some products that I use for hair. I will see you when I'm done. Hey, boy. Kisses my face. Semi ribs. Oh my god, I look like Hermione Granger. I've just finished my client. Um, it was good, but it was long because it was in Barry. I did get stuck in a bit of traffic on the way as well, which is so nice. I'm gonna go to the shops really quickly to grab some chicken because we don't have anything. Cornflake chicken. We need mayo. I'm just looking at the fridge. This is how empty it is. How tragic. There's some potatoes, so I could do like chips with it. Guys, that shop was so unsuccessful. There wasn't any chicken in Tesco. <laughs> I'm feeling sad. But what I did get, smiles. Why are they called smiles? I always thought they were called smiley faces. And I just get some mayo because emergency mayo. But we've decided to go for a takeaway instead. I'm gonna just snack on some of these olives. These are the most glorious olives in the world. Mm. Have you seen olives like that? ever in your life. Look at all that walnut. I'm kind of glad that Rich didn't work. So I can eat these. Those wash cakes are looking at me. She's doing it. She's finally washing her pants and socks. I'm slightly embarrassed that I had to get to my full sock and pant collection before I decided to do a wash. If I could pay someone to do my washing, I would. I so would. Well, you can do that. I'm being stupid. I'm not going to use my sun booster because it irritates around that area. Sorry, TMI. <gasps> I am so TMI on here. Okay, I'm going to watch Selling Sunset and wait for Rich to get back. of taking him to the pub. Maybe we can um, put his Christmas jumper on him. Yeah, I might wash my hair. It's looking horrendous. Someone didn't recognize me in work this morning. And I was like, it's because I have a different hairstyle every time I come in. <laughs> she was like, yeah. Politics Wales TV makeup job I have on the Sunday morning is killer. I love it so much, but waking up that early, you can see on my face. My Vlogmas 
episode one is uploaded today, which is exciting. I have nothing to do this morning other than to chill. So what I'm gonna do is take advantage, wash my hair, maybe redo my makeup because, wow, look at my neck. I literally, as soon as I saw in the studio lights, I was literally like this. I did start using that UK lash. It actually works wonders, you know. This moisturizer, one of the best moisturizers I've ever used in my life. The most beautiful shine to your skin. Like, it is stunning. Like, it just gives this like really lovely radiant. I decided to take my makeup off and like redo it because, Jesus, that was probably one of my worst. I'm gonna go for my ultra facial toner again from Kiehl's just because I used it in the last vlog and I am obsessed. It doesn't dry. I'm gonna use my Lamine Nordic Hydra Moisturizing Prebiotic Oil Cocktail. You kind of have to shake it to make it like combine with the oil. It gives like the most radiant look. I have to do my Willida Skin Food in light. It just is an all time favorite. Every time I put this on someone's face pre makeup, they're like, what is that? And it smells delicious. It smells almost like Grapefruit and orange combined. like smart casual i'm thinking of this skirt i bought from uniqlo recently when i was in london plain knitted maxi skirt and then i'm thinking of just like a baggy t-shirt like a gray baggy t-shirt and then some like jewelry you may have seen this jacket when i went to london i have not stopped wearing this this is so cute i didn't realize that you could do it up how stupid am i and it sort of like goes on a slight diagonal it's got two buttons but it's really lovely and oversized. I have not stopped wearing it. Really chunky knee-high boots on underneath this skirt. I'll link this jacket down below. <laughs> have lunch and me and Rich are playing battleships. We were talking about Squid Game and we've been watching it and then we were talking about the battleship episode and I was just like I really want to play battleships now so I just downloaded an app on my phone and Rich is taking it far too seriously. Press OK and then okay it's my turn now I'm gonna go here. <gasps> what does that mean? Does that mean I got one? It's red. I reckon this is <gasps> got another one. Do I go up or down? No. I'm really invested in this game now. Now it's clearly gonna be it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, she won. <laughs> How do you feel, you loser? <laughs> I couldn't have been more awkward shot. I'm gonna let you in on my secret cookie recipe. I'm just getting it up now. A Millie's cookies recipe. It's a very specific recipe. I'll link it down below. <laughs> I'm splitting it up into two halves. Sonam again. Walnut and pomegranate. And it's in like a sweet sauce. I'm not gonna regret it. Oh my god, that's <laughs> so good. I don't want none of that sarcasm, thank you very much. I love them. They're growing on me the more I eat, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm to show you that I'm sticking the Milky Bar chocolate and I'm gonna put some on top to create like these cookie balls. They are touching, annoyingly, and I think it might have been, I don't know, maybe I didn't freeze it for long enough. It does have a curry centre, believe me. Morning guys, I am just about to go to the gym. Wow, it's really lovely and sunny outside for a change. I feel pretty good. Like usually I come on here and I'm like, I'm about to go to the gym. I have no strength or willpower, but today I actually have some energy and I think that is down to the fact that I really chilled last night. I'm gonna put my hands up and say, I always do legs because I'm better at legs and I feel better when I do legs. My arms are so weak 
and I know I should do more arms. I'm happy with having a big bubble butt and weak ass arms, to be honest. Every time I go to the gym, he's like this. Bitch, don't go. Don't leave me. Guys, it's 10 past 10 and I am done in the gym. I did a bit of abs at the end and I think that always makes me feel better. It helps my bloating when I'm um, on my period. Don't know even if it's true. Maybe it's just all in my head, but it does work. This is the outfit of the day. I've got these like Uniqlo trousers on. I'll link them down below and this H&M body, which is like the perfect bodysuit for me. I think I might have lost a bit of weight because <laughs> they're a lot baggier on the bum than I was hoping. I feel like I've been eating like a pig. Like you literally saw me eating cookies last night. Anyway, I'm going to make my favourite brunch and I'm going to show you how to make these like delicious beans. So I'm going to make the wrap version of beans on toast. Cannellini beans um, and you need, this is a vital ingredient, Worcester sauce, um, chopped tomatoes, you probably need a whole can. Um, if you don't want it to be like super rich, then use tomato paste. Also we'll need some garlic and if you need cheese, have cheese. Avocado works really well with this, so if you've got an avocado as well. 10 out of 10. Just waiting for my beans to dry in a little colander after I've washed them. Big pan, olive oil in there. My lazy garlic, don't judge me. I use lazy garlic now. I used to use fresh, but no one has time for that. Been in there for a minute. I'm just gonna add a nice healthy portion of tomato paste. Add some garlic granules. Barbecue seasoning I got from Aldi, no, Lidl. Those are mixed herbs. Beans, I'm just gonna add them into that paste. Just gonna add some Worcester sauce, season them with a bit of salt and pepper. Just add in a little bit of boiled water to let them simmer for a bit. Let them simmer for about five, 10 minutes. I'm waiting, I'm just writing down some content ideas for today. And recently one of my, another video of mine went viral and it was really, one that was quite interesting. It was um, like a work with me on my TikTok. Like it is the most real content I've, I think I've ever, ever done. I have been focusing so much on giving people value and educating people uh, about makeup, but I'm gonna try and bring a bit more vulnerability into my videos because it's clearly what everyone wants to see. Really hard balance, you know, trying to guess what everyone wants. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Okay, so this is what the beans look like. How delicious do they look? <laughs> filming this hair and makeup so if you want to see that go over on my instagram or tiktok i um was having a bit of a mare when i was looking back at the footage my iphone storage just kept um kept stopping the video recording which was so annoying it happens all the time also when i was looking back i was thinking that back camera always makes my face look so weird i think i will end the vlog here um because i do have a lot of work-based things now. This will be uploaded every Sunday, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe. I will be recording back onto my third of Vlogmas. Can't believe it, third of Vlogmas already on Friday. See you soon.